Hey guys, I'm on the road. Um, I can't really read too many comments while I'm driving, but I read one that was pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> and he said that he's been married for eight years. Yeah, I think he said he'd been married for eight years or together with her for eight years. I think married. And he never cheated, but he's starting to feel, you know, uh, I guess he's starting to feel tempted to do it for some reason. And he's like, any advice? <clears throat> I'm not a teacher. I'm not a therapist, counselor. Um, I'm not here to try to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not here to try to um, guide anybody, you know. Um, I'm just here expressing how I feel, you know, and if someone takes that advice, then that, that's on them. That's not, you know, I'm just on here expressing how I feel, right? But my answer to that and what I just wrote to that um, was tell her. To me, like I was listening to Ebony Republic, Republican, I think it's Clint, Ebony Republic or Ebony, it's Ken, Ebony Republican, C-A-N, okay. So, and I was listening to him and it's kind of good to kind of get a man's point of view on certain things not the dumb stupid idiots who come in here talking about oh you something wrong with you and you know what i'm saying so you must be hurt nigga you never denying what the fuck i said yet you coming here talking about something wrong with me just like when they get caught cheating they think it's something wrong. oh you paranoid you insecure you this you that no nigga you cheating that's just it don't try to try to fucking karate uh you know what i'm saying kick your way up out of this shit what the fuck I'm trying to do any little move you can to get up out of this shit just call that shit what it is. That's the motherfucking problem. Oh, yeah, something wrong with you on this side. No, nigga, something wrong with you, motherfucker. Ain't shit wrong with me here. Yeah. yeah, motherfucker, shit. You should feel... Yeah, let me just go on and leave that alone. But real quick, um, if I was him, I would tell her. I would tell her. I would want, I would want my significant other to tell me. Yeah, I would tell him. Shit, yeah, I would. I promise you guys I would. I'm telling you, I'm going to have to do a live with him one day. Just so y'all can see who I'm with. Yeah, see how our relationship is. And I do agree. You have to be friends. To me, after a while, when you're in a relationship, things kind of get a little bit too serious. And you kind of forget about, you know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be your friend. Come on now, this shit can't be boring. I, 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 hate, I hate boring shit, you know? We got to have fun, laugh. I mean, we need to get it. I have done videos even where I... I don't know if you guys saw those. Scroll your ass down. I've done videos even telling women, look, spice your room up. Make that shit sexy. We always putting a lot of money into our living rooms and shit. You know, nah. All the magic go down in the bedroom. Just to be able to feel, just to have you feeling some certain type of way. When you go in that motherfucker, it need to look like something. It need to like, ooh, you know, when you come home from work. I have my own bathroom in my room. I have two bathrooms. So the hallway bathroom is the kids. And I have my own, we have our own bathroom in my room. I mean, the, my room, I'll show you guys my room too. My room is, I think I did a video with my room on there. My, my room is sexy as hell. Hell yeah. When I go in there, I want to feel all woman. Oh yeah. Yeah, everything. Yeah, that's where it go down up in the room. You need to have the lights. Even I have the sun, um, the 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 sun blackout curtains in there. Shit, it could go nighttime at any point in time. Yeah, close them curtains where it block out the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit. Twelve o'clock and it's real sunny outside. That shit could look. You go in my room, it look like it's nighttime. Yeah, oh yeah. All the stars. I got the stars that look like your ass is in 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 the. Uh, Shit, in space. Yeah, hell yeah. Make that shit, um, just make you feel some type of way to get us in a mood to be able to do things for our significant other. I also said, if you with your man, why are you treating your man like he a stranger? You scared to touch him? You scared to, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that's yours. Fuck shit. You need to be touching on him and doing all type of shit. That's your shit. You know, like, sometimes women get to a point to where I notice, even with my friends when we be talking, I be having to tell them this shit. It gets to a point to where it's kind of like, you know, in order to have intercourse, you know, it's kind of like you make an appointment with the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to have that this time. You got to look at me this type of way. You got to kind of like wink so I'll know that means that we finna get it on. And then uh, maybe just rub my leg a little bit. And then I know, you know, then you got to rub my shoulder. That's why I know. No. Start saying it to me. That's your nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You need to be touching on him all the time. If he yours, that's your man. Shit. Why are you scared to touch on them? You know, men ain't scared to touch on the women or whatever. 
But let me let I'm getting off um I'm getting off topic. Okay, for him. Tell her. If I was you, I would tell her. Look, babe, I, I'm being I'm having these different thoughts and stuff of about to go out and do something else with another woman. Why would she break up with you or get a divorce over that? You being honest with her. I would want somebody before they go cheat on me to tell me to you know what I'm saying? To tell me, look, shit. This is what I want you to do. It's not be real. Like if we gonna be doing this shit, we need to just keep this shit real. You know what I'm saying? We need to keep this shit real. Just like I told y'all in another video too. Man, you want us to be touching on you out of nowhere and being all sexually attracted to you? Nigga, you need to get your shit together. Nobody wants to just be kissing you out of nowhere and your breath stink. Nigga, go to the dentist. Get your shit whitening your teeth. I mean, spend money on that, nigga. Don't be walking around with them dirty-ass tennis shoes, nigga, with your shoestrings tied all tight and shit, nigga. Just go buy you some tennis shoes every month once a pair. You know what I'm saying? Damn, nigga, look like something. Go take your ass to the gym. It ain't okay for you to be walking around with that big-ass belly, but yet you want a motherfucker walking around like they Beyonce and shit. Nigga, you don't go take your ass to the gym, go in your motherfucking man cave and do some sit-ups and get the fuck up out of my face and you want to go cheat and shit with your stupid ass, stupid, funky-looking ass. Yeah, y'all get nigga, motherfucker talking about lick on his ear or whatever. Nigga, go wash your ears first before you talk about motherfucker need to start licking on him. Bitch, don't want to start licking on your neck. That shit salty and shit. Nigga, if you don't go get your shit together, but yet we always got nails, feet never crusty, nails never dry, motherfucking, we getting motherfucking Brazilian wax, asshole wax and shit, trying to just keep that shit just for ourselves. We trying to keep ourselves together and for you guys, but yet y'all want to walk around like who did it and why, you know what I'm saying? But back to the guy. Look, y'all, I'm just all over the motherfucking place. Um... I would tell her. I would, you with her eight years. I would tell her. Look, I was just. I don't know what's up with me. I don't know what's in the air. I, however, you talk to her, you know. I think that you should. If you marry, you definitely should be able to be that open with your wife. Or yeah, shit, to tell her. Look, I'm thinking about this and that. We ain't been having this and that or whatever. You just been doing this, and I just want to get a little more freaky and shit. Now look. With my ass, all that old licking ass and shit, I'm not doing that, nigga. You want to go do that, then, uh, nigga, I will go and find you somebody. Yeah, go from somewhere else and get that shit done. Because I'm definitely not about to be doing all that, motherfucker. Shit, you just going to have to go cheat and get that done, nigga. Because that's, uh, mm, that's out of the motherfucking equation. Okay? Yeah, I'm not going to be doing all that. You got me totally fucked up. That shit gross as fuck. I, they, ain't even, they ain't even something to just be like, oh, yeah, I'm freaky and all. No, that, that's beyond freaky. That's some disgusting ass shit. Then I got somebody in the comments talking about, yeah, yeah, you you don't know nothing about that. I think it to myself like, damn, nigga, you proud of your motherfucking eating booty master degree ain't having ass. Fuck, y'all motherfuckers disgusting as hell. No, nah, but tell her. Maybe you could work something out. To me, to me, our partners is our friends to be talking about that. Like if we with somebody, we already know that's going to come with it, with the relationship as far as sex. So why try to act all like, try to act like you just don't be doing it? No. Of course, you carry yourself like a lady, you, of course. And then when you get in that room, man, oh, shit. Yeah, they ain't always got to be the one starting it off first. Shit. Shit, we need to get in the mood and be doing shit with we shit. When we be using they ass for sex. Yeah, they be like, damn, baby, I'm, we done already did it four times and shit. <laughs> Wear that nigga out. Yeah, motherfucker, shit. Uh-huh. Bye, uh, shit. Shit, kick his ass out after that. Yeah. Give them a taste of their own motherfucking medicine. Okay. Okay, wait. Let me get back on track. Okay, yeah, no, for real, for real. Um, if I was you, I would talk to her. I would tell her, yeah. When we in relationships with somebody, it's our personal relationship with them. It ain't about being conservative like you in a business meeting and shit and all this shit. No, you got to get real with the Yeah, you can't be telling her, look, baby, we just this shit boring. You know what I'm saying? This is how I feel. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I'm just telling you, baby, I we need to do something. Come on now, shit. I'm look, I'm telling you I would. Hmm. I sure would, I tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do this shit. If you don't be doing this and that, yeah. Nigga, you can't wait. You need to go to the gym, nigga, or it's gonna be a wrap. Yeah. Mm hmm I sure do. And then remember too, like I say, it go both ways. Men can't be walking around flabby and funky and looking stupid and shit, ain't getting a haircut, not looking fresh, ain't smelling good, then got the nerve to have all these different expectations of the woman. Nigga, if you gonna go sit your ugly ass down somewhere, yeah, it go both ways. So it it takes both though, for real, for real. It takes both. All this, oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, you need to be doing this and that and all this shit. No, it takes both. Do y'all ever ask the woman, what do you want me to do? What feels good to you? Why are you just having sex and you ain't even asking them what they like? 
what how they want it no right there like that no do it like this you ain't supposed to just be just doing something that you don't think that you like it or don't feel good you're supposed to be guiding their ass to get don't just have sex just for them to get their pleasure you know what i'm saying off no you going you women have sex to get your shit off fuck that you don't just do it just so they can get the pleasure no you have sex to get pleasure for yourself yeah use their ass don't be just letting them do it and shit you get something out of that shit too but for the guy again tell her i would suggest you that's my advice i would sit down and talk to her and tell her yeah this is what i've been this is what i've been doing now don't take the advice or not or you know is shit if you married that's better to do that than to go out there and just start cheating and shit you know yeah go on and tell her i think she would understand she may cry a little bit may hurt her feelings and stuff and she may start to thinking that oh my god you know maybe he is gonna go out and do something and start you know just start not trusting you and stuff like that but if you be honest with her i don't think that um that that her mind would go that far yeah if you're not reassuring her you got to be reassuring us that we you know what i'm saying you can't just expect us to just guess and stuff we need to be reassured about certain things if y'all are a man yeah vice versa go both ways with that too so it's not just a one-way street both of us in the relationships be lacking shit and we just be all like what the fuck like we just be all fucked up you know what i'm saying together and shit just all fucked up yeah no you gonna tell her shit reassure her that baby i would never go out on you i'm just telling you this is what i'm thinking and we need to do something about it however however you talk to her you know shit I, i'll tell her i really would tell her before you go and do anything yeah so that's my that's my advice and that's my suggestion um to him in the chat the a who or whatever yeah tell her and that's so i'm i see like guys like you who be honest like that oh my god i appreciate you guys like one of the guys was like you right like we do we got a problem with cheating and shit exactly just be honest a woman can be way more faithful to a man than a man can for a woman man if a woman is like really like that and digging you and shit her ass will never she'll be married to your motherfucking ass for 20 years and never have no other dick ain't that crazy i'm like man okay i take my hat off to your ass shit no other dick then something happened to the guy whatever that would be her first little time getting something else she wouldn't do shit nothing that's how women be no it's enough is enough yeah okay let me get off i'm about to go into something else y'all um all right then I always and with you guys be careful out there because these motherfuckers is crazy y'all and it is windy out here i don't know why it's so windy out here today i know one thing my motherfucking hair right now mess up shit because i just got it done y'all i'll probably uh i'll do a video later or probably tomorrow while my daughter getting ready for prom just to chit chat with y'all and calm my ass down she driving me crazy so i can't wait until all this stuff is over with to tell you the truth um, but you guys be careful out there, okay? All right.